The next map and the most awarded map of 2017 is Endgame, where Simo says it all ends here. It's a 1 minute 15, insanely difficult, hyper transitional, slow speed, full speed track based around huge vertical sculpture combos and momentum. Multi dimensional full speed. Let's just count together. Uh, so one, two, at three, but that's the mapper himself, at four finishers, so three finishers in total. I'll try it, I'll try it. I will not get too, uh, too stuck on it. You guys gotta pull me out into the dirt here, if I get stuck. Mechanical assassin thing for the one year. You just bought standard access, have fun. Berg Rimmer, thank you as well for the four months. We are in for a beautiful journey. Look, already got two checkpoints. This is easy. Three checkpoints. This is... Oh, four. Oh, we are. We're cruising. Um, no. If you ever fail one transition here, the run is basically over. So you need... to be perfect. And you are perfect, but your driving needs to be perfect as well. Alright, guys. Here's the challenge. This map is called Endgame. What's the runtime of Avengers Endgame? From start to finish. How long does that last? Because I will beat this map in less. And then you can't complain. Three hours, two minutes. Okay, yeah, see? Everyone knows Endgame takes a while, alright? Guess it's in under three hours. I'll go watch it, be right back. If you finish this in under three hours, I'm tier three subbing until the end of the year. Is it that difficult? It's one It's one minute. It's one minute of transitions. How could it take less, more than three hours? Are checkpoints responsible? No, <laughs> unfortunately. This is all uh, one shot or bust. Which is a tough learning curve, because you kind of make advancements, and then as soon as you make an advancement on one part, you might crash the next one, and then you make an advancement, then you crash that one, and then you... That's kind of how learning is like in this. Let's watch the GPS one more time now, after I fail here. So that I can get better at it. Maybe just skip that ramp entirely. Looks more consistent. Okay. Not bad. Let's watch uh, GPS. GPS by drop sore. Okay. No speed slides on the dirt? Interesting. Hits the ramp. I'm gonna skip that one, I think. Up on the sculpture, then drop down there. And then here you have the lower. Lower. Look at it, look at it. Late. Late. Bum bum. This is such a stressful song. <laughs> At the very tippy top. Oh, you need so much speed for the end. Doable. Oh, that's low speed, but we made it. Yeah, but that's what happens with- okay. That was halfway. When I was a teenager, I stumbled upon the subreddit nofap. And I saw all these posts about, like, 
Damn, boys. If you last 90 days, it'll give you, like, superpowers. Like, you'll feel so much better. No brain fog, no nada. You'll feel so much better. And so I tried it. When I was like seven, 16, 17, I tried, I tried. And the, the thing on the subreddit is like, everyone has an account and you got your shriek. It's like you, you connect your shriek to your account and you got your shriek. So everyone on the subreddit has their own shriek. Like, oh, this guy's a giga chad for 171 days. Like, damn. That's a titan right there. Like, high, high rank in the nofap community. Um, so I tried it. Didn't really see too much of the superpowers that people were talking about. I think the, the one thing is like, it gives you a sense of mastery, even if it's something so simple. Did he get better at TM? Now, the weird thing is the only thing that happened is I started levitating. I started levitating, entered another dimension and stuff, but it really didn't help my Trackmania gameplay at all. The only thing it did, which was also really bad, is it added a lot of shame to it. You felt like a, like a Christian boy who just disappointed Jesus. When you rubbed one out. Yeah, and you, you broke your streak, you had to go back to zero, like... I... <laughs> like, damn. What's my PB? I made it to 90 days. But then going beyond that just felt pointless. Oh, close, close, wait, new PB. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. And then you have to time the, the exit. <laughs> I love, like, the cannons in this. I think there's actual cannons or drums that sound like cannons in the song. My favorite instrument. Okay. And then up there, okay. And it's quite, like... Straight up into a quarter pipe, guys. Guys, I genuinely under one hour on this, I can, I can get it. What? Why didn't the car go up there? Like it did in the video. Yeah, I think I landed too much on the left. I think you have to line up here to keep good speed. That is 10 seconds from the finish. Oh, that was good though. There is really only one difficult part left there. That line up. No! Imagine though, imagine that that is the one. <laughs> really? I wanted to go outside again. Dude, the most recent thing I've seen is like, people not wanting to date others because they don't have an iPhone. That is some insane shit. You guys seen that? People are like, 
Yeah, no, I could not date someone who has a Android phone. It's just like the green chat bubbles, like it's so weird. Like, my god. <laughs> Very common in the US. I don't get that, man. I'm sorry. You know, some people in a relationship are looking for other things. You're looking for which phone they're using. Probably still a better indicator that you guys get along than your star signs and whatnot. Like, that's that's another layer. Android users are stubborn. Is this gonna upset people if I say you get the same phone and it's just cheaper? That was my thought process behind buying a Samsung phone. It's like, oh, cheaper, same phone. Not a problem. <laughs> you, get a, you get a smartphone, has the same apps, can do the same things, cheaper, cool. If there was like a really, really clutch feature one of the companies had that the other one didn't, they would just yoink it. It is such a competitive market that you're gonna end up with like, you know, any company making phones kind of providing the same services. The one thing Apple does, which I think is pretty smart, is, you know... They kind of make you... They make their products better the more Apple products you have. So like, oh, you have an Apple phone, now I can airdrop it to you. You don't have an Apple phone, now it's gonna be a lot harder. This has to make it. And that should make the downhill here too. Oh, bit bad. Please. Good. I was so ready to just clutch it. I'm scared I won't get this in under two hours. I said I would. How close am I to professionals? Depends on where you want to compare. Um, if you mean like Trackmania World Tour, which is the eSport level, you have the top 16 players in the world. I'd say somewhere in the top 100 to top 150. But it's been a while since I've, like, tried for um, Trackmania eSport event. So not just, like, a fun competition like Khaki or something like that. Could be interesting. I could try Open Qualifier of World Cup next year. That would also be just be good to uh, learn the maps for cast. <laughs> See how far I get. Imagine the YouTube video I tried to become a pro player. Right. And then I can call myself a non-pro if I fail. And then I can continuously frame myself as the underdog in all situations. So that what I do looks more impressive since I beat pros and technically I am not a pro. I see where this is going. <laughs> that's not, that's not a bad idea. That's a good idea. middle <sighs> even still I hit the pole god damn okay starting to get kind of cracked with this Oh, it's so far out! Oh my god, it's so far to the right. I thought it was like straight up. Dude, I was convinced it was straight up. I would have failed that regardless, I think. If I could get rid of one map style, what would it be? Let me think a little bit about this one, because this is a lot of power. Anything built in the sunset mode in-game. Is that a style? Probably plastic. I don't like plastic. Plastic maps, just, I don't like them. I like them less than uh, I like untransitional attack. Don't land on the ramp, okay, good. Probably middle. Oh, 
all the finishes right there! That's my best attempt yet. Just need to go a little bit more down. <laughs> I had the right idea, but it's... It's a little more of a down angle than what I thought. My my uphill was really good though. In that. Okay, one more, and then it should be it. Oh, that's outside pull. If even that. No, too far. I want to try to tell you guys more about my thought process on this, but a lot of it now has just got into autopilot. Like, I know how to drive the start pretty much every time. And I'm not thinking too much about speed everywhere because it equalizes a lot of places and really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just trying to get the last part down because that's what seems to be the biggest issue now. Just getting there and then in the last part. What's the name of the track? It's called Endgame. So kind of the meme was like, can I beat it in less time than Avengers Endgame? Three hours and two minutes, we've heard. It's the time to beat. Okay. <laughs> I landing bugged on the wall right itself. Vertical landing bug, yeah, no. Can happen. Go again. Let's go! Two hours and 26 minutes to beat Endgame, one of the hardest transitional full speed maps. I'm now the fourth person to beat it, with the map where you can say five, but... Wow, that was a terrible end. I lost so much time in the last wall ride, but I still got enough speed. That's author time as well, by eight hundreds, I think? <laughs> Two hours later! Uh, we placed with that time. Is that actually second? Did we actually get second place? Oh, it's second place on the leaderboard. Barely beating uh, Joe Hulse and uh, and Simul. 